Welcome, my name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to discuss the Control F keyboard shortcut as a way to launch the Find dialog box within Microsoft Excel. We're then going to look at a couple alternate methods to launch the Find dialog box, and then you'll be all set, be ready to go on to our next lesson. But with that, let's get started and figure out how to launch the Find dialog box within Excel. So here we have a spreadsheet and within our spreadsheet, there are both individual numbers, there are equations and there are text-based entries. You can use the control F keyboard shortcut to launch the find dialog box. And once you have the find dialog box, you can tell Excel what you want to find. So let's say that we want to find the word price. We're gonna type in the word price here and then we're going to go to find next. So Excel will then go to the next instance of price, which is here, H1, and we'll go find next. It's going to go to C3, and then next it will go to J6 here, and then it will go back to H1. Once you bring up the, the find dialog box, Again, we can do this by pressing Control F. You can say find all, which I think is a pretty cool feature because then it will give you the specific cell reference where that's located. And when you click on that, it can jump your active cell directly to that. It will also tell you the value of, or where you found that. So this is selling price, this is price, and this is price. What can be really interesting is then you can use options of, you can tell it to search just within your specific sheet or all of your workbook. So we're gonna switch this to workbook and then we're gonna say find all. Now originally when we said find all, there were three instances because we were looking within our specific worksheet, say find all. And then if we want the entire workbook, we say find all. And you'll notice that there are three versions in table version one, and then there are three instances of selling price, or rather price within version two. And if we click any of these, it will jump from book to book, or rather worksheet to worksheet. So it can be, I think, a really quick way to navigate individual instances of what you wanna look for. Now, you can also change how Excel looks for items. Either it can look row by row or column by column. If you have lots of data, this could be very useful to potentially change. You can say if you want it to be case specific. So let's say that we had typed in the word price. If we don't ask it to match the case, when we say find all, it will still find all of those. But when we say match case, find all, there's no lowercase prices. They're all uppercase price, find all. So the find dialog box has a couple of nuances. The, the, the ones that I find most interesting are control, control F. When you bring up these options, you wanna determine whether or not you want it to look in your specific workbook or whether you want it to look within your worksheet. Then you would say whether you want it to match the case and how it should search. We're gonna say either find all or find next. In a later video, we'll look at a specific keyboard shortcut to find next without clicking that button. Now, if you didn't remember the keyboard shortcut of Control F for find, there are a couple alternate ways to achieve the same result. You can come up here on your home tab. You would go to this portion, which says find and select. And you would go to find, it would launch this, and you could say find all, find next. Again, if we go to options, we could select the entire workbook find all, and there should be more instances of price. All right, the last way that I sometimes will launch the find dialog box is to press the Alt key, the H key for the home tab, and then FD for find, and then F for find again. Once you press that keyboard combination, you would have this dialog box and you would have the same set of choices that we discussed earlier in this video. So again, there are three ways to launch the find dialog box. The first is control F, that's perhaps the easiest. You can also bring your cursor, 
come up here and go to find. Or lastly, you can press the Alt key, the H key, F, D, and then F for find. And that too would launch the find and replace dialog box. If you didn't remember how to do this or where the find and select dialog box was located, you could press F1 to launch your help setting to make sure that it's offline. You could type in find and the find pane. Here, it will enlarge this. Okay, so we would press the Alt key, H, F, D, P, which is slightly different, but we'll do it anyway. H, F, D, and then P, pane, but we're actually gonna do F, and that would launch the find dialog box. In our next video, we'll look at the idea of using Control H, which will allow you to launch the find and replace dialog box something that I find particularly useful when using Excel. So check that out in our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.